Time to face the, the music. Oh, man. I just want to be part of your movement. <sighs> Klimt. She looks a little happier, like I'm getting it. Klimt. Herr Klimt, please excuse my appearance. Herr Klimt, please excuse my appearance. You look terrible, Markert. Whatever is the matter? I'm tired. J just a little tired. Tired? Would you allow me to paint you? I'll call it The Walking Dead. <sighs> Have you seen Fraulein Lonig, Zach? I doubt she knows you brought another painting. I'll telephone her. Isn't that her? That's not her. Oh, those are the other two. There she is! Are you... alright? Painting. My painting. You've made great progress, as I knew you would. You knew I would. Forget the painting. Forget the painting! For now, Margaret. Just for now. You really don't look well. What happened to you? It happens every time. What do you mean? I lose hours. They're just blank. When does this happen? After every painting. You need a doctor. I, I just need some sleep. No. You need Freud. Oh my god! Dr. Freud's office. Just keep talking. About what? Anything that comes to your mind. Pictures, words, stories. I see people in layers. I wonder how you're supposed to help me. I have this recurring dream. I want to talk about my dream. Can I see anything else in here? This is a cool scene. Tell me about it. I dreamt that I'm a unicorn. I dream that I'm lying right here. I dream that I'm lying right here. And I'm stuck. Stuck in the same conversation. Over and over again. The same questions. You're projecting your fears onto this situation. You're afraid I can't help you. Dr. Freud's office. Just keep talking. About what? Anything you uh, that comes to mind. Pictures, words, stories, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I see people in layers. I see people in layers. You mean like onions? No. What do these layers look like? It depends on the layer. Some look like the person. Some look entirely different. More like a symbol. It's hard to describe. Naturally. If it were easy, you wouldn't need me. They shift in and out of my perception. What do you think they stand for? Everything I'm not. Aspects of their personalities. A it's aspects of their personalities that we're seeing. Do you see your own layers? No. Why not? I don't have any. Rubbish! I've never been able to see them. As a child, I looked for them in the mirror. Wrong mirror. Wrong mirror? What does that mean? I don't know. It sounded good. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay! Uh, I've never been able to see them. Ah! 
That's different. Do you see layers in people? I wouldn't call them that. What do you call them? We're not here to discuss me. We're here to discuss you. I, I don't know what you want me to say. Many of my patients find it hard to talk about themselves. What do you do? I kick the furniture after they leave. <laughs> Does that help? No, it hurts like hell. But it's better than me kicking them. If they won't talk, how can I help? I've had blackouts. Wonderful! No, they aren't. Wonderful that you're talking. Not the blackouts. What typically happens on days you lose time. My model arrives. I paint my portrait. My model leaves. Well, it's in this order here. My model arrives. Do you talk to your models? Ask about their lives? Yes, it helps reveal the layers. Naturally! You're psychoanalyzing them! A few days later. Let's pick up where we left off. In the last session, you paint your portraits. What happens after your patients leave? My patients? I-I don't know exactly. I guess I black out. Wait, there's something else. There's something else. But I can't see it. I spoke with Madame Thernot. She told me she was a patient of yours. What did she say? What did she say? She mentioned... Wait, wait! Something just happened! Please share it. I want to be excited too! I saw a layer! My layer! Reflected in my glasses. My symbolically seeing... Me symbolically seeing into your soul. No. I'm not even looking at you. No, you weren't seeing into my soul. Your glasses? I'm not even looking at you. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> Where did you see... Was... Was Freud a joker? Right there, above, around me. A secret desire, perhaps. My own layer. That's the first time. More days later. What did Madame Thernard tell you? She wondered about the second easel in your workshop. What second easel? It has a canvas on it, covered by a sheet. She's mistaken. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no second easel in my workshop. Well, in that case, I won't suggest you go immediately to your workshop and rip off that sheet. You're not making sense. Is that me? My god, it just happened again. I saw another of my layers. Go to your workshop, Murkert. Rip off that sheet. If you can. It's all downhill from there. Okay, well, let's go and... Oh, Dr. Freud's office. Is there stuff around here that I'm... that I didn't meet? I got the achievement, though. So... I guess we're okay. Go inside! I don't see no second easel. No easel. The layers. They're gone. What? Covered painting. It... It's me! My god. I've been trying... Trying to find my layers. But I saw them. They're there. It's me. Is this what I've been painting during my blackouts? 
tried to find the layers that resonate with me. It's far from complete. Time to finish this. But no rushing it this time. Oh, am I- Oh wait. Am I gonna paint? Oh! What is that? It looks a bit like Alphonse. But with me, my face. Was there an aspect to him? Something he and I have in common? We're both strong. We're both strong. But, am I really? No. That's not it. Hours later. Deformed figure? Pleading figure. Pleading figure. This figure bears the closest resemblance to me. During my session with Freud, I saw my own layers, if but for a very short moment. Can I bring them out again? When did they show? When? Oh crap! Ah. Uh... He talked to others about me. This one was the one lying down, right? It wasn't the one on top of me, so... He was asking me... About... He talked to me about others. He talked to others about me. Yes! I did it! Hours later. Hmm. The deformed figure was the one on top of me, I assume. This figure. It reminds me of Madame Thernot. I enjoyed painting her so much. But there's also something about myself. Something we share. Passion? A healthy appetite. Experience. Passion. Passion? She's a very passionate woman. But what are we both passionate about? Self-pitying. Being celebrated. Both were... So I didn't want this. I feel like this is what self-pitying. It's true. Yet, hardly something the madame is passionate about. No. That can't be right. Damn it, I'm fucking up. I made the mistake. <sighs> Fuck. I fucked up two of them. I got one right. A hastily painted figure. It's hard to make out what exactly it's supposed to be. No wonder! The past weeks have been... Rather unpleasant. Rather unpleasant. Finally, at the salon. Then the critique. The blackouts. But in everyone I met. There was a connection. Even with those where I saw no layers. Even with... Granddad? Young composer. He didn't see the composer's lairs, Grandad. Grandad. He brought me to the salon. He showed me the real world. He was there for me. Always. I wish I could get those two right. Fucked up. Do I get- please give me another chance. This is me. The first time I feel... 
Like I know what I was missing. Sharing something of me. I got an achievement called Hollow and I'm not liking that. Reflected by others. I've got to show them. Show her. This is what's been missing. Damn it! Ugh, I really want to go back and change this. But I don't know if I should. Weeks later. Grandpa! This is what's real. Oh! Franz! What a surprise! Uh, are you... Are you alright? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Um, I'm, I'm just browsing... At the flower stand? Well, let's talk about you! Who are you buying flowers for? Who are you buying flowers for? Uh, me? Uh, flowers? Um... Madame Thurnhart. I... Uh, um... Yes. I'm old, Franz. But ever since I saw her recently, I feel young again. How are you? I feel fantastic! I started a new undertaking. Well, not new per se. I attempted this many years ago, but couldn't finish. Oh. Go and get her, Granddad. You can do it. Take care, Franz. Well, let me go and see. Oh. Give me the good paint, man. What can I do for it? About that color. Yes? I'm a great artist. I would like to buy it. It is not for sale. I will only give it to a true master painter. Uh, I'm a- about that color. I'm a great artist. And a modest one, too. What's your name, oh great artist? My name is... Stuff team. Franz Market! Market? Never heard of you. Please, stop wasting my time. Oh. About that color. I'm a great artist. What's your name, oh great artist? My name is. Well. Everybody knows Monet. I assume everybody will know Klimt in Vienna, but this guy is not... Actually, no, everybody knows Monet. Claude Monet! Of course! Risen... Oh. Would you... Oh. <laughs> Your French accent can't be overheard. Uh, sir, that means I won't give you my color. Please, stop wasting my time. We're gonna do it for... That, that color. Yes. Great artist. I'm a great artist. Ah, uh, my damn name's Gustav Klimt. No, it isn't. Please, stop wasting my time. Listen, bud. Give me the damn color. I'm a great artist, alright? Haven't you heard of me? My name is... Oscar Cox... Kokoska. Kokoska. Kokoska? That name sounds familiar. Oh yes! I've heard your hairstyle caused quite the uproar. With a clean-shaven head like that, it's quite uncommon. Wait a minute! All your hair is still on your head! Please, stop wasting my time. Gotta go! See you later, Granddad. Klimt! My, finally. I have not heard from you in weeks. Are you alright? What can I do for you, Franz? I'm looking for Gret. She comes by from time to time, but not as often as she used to. It's something wrong? 
Maybe. I don't know. The ecstasy is over. She has seen it all. And with you not coming here anymore. But anyway. What happened in the past weeks? I started working on a new painting. It's going to be glorious. Do you know where Gret lives? If I did, why should I tell you? I could come back to the salon. I could try to bring her back to the salon. Hmm. Very well. Wait a moment. Here it is. Thank you, Gustav. Oh, she lives in the big high-rise, Gret's apartment. Gret's apartment, the same afternoon. This is her... What are you doing here, Franz? What do I want from her? Why bother her? Is this... not it? This painting. Who's there? It's me. It's me. How did you find me? Clint. Ah. What can I do for you? I want to thank you. I've painted a new portrait. Would you let me paint you? Do you think you're ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Not sure. Whether I can capture you wholly. Maybe we can find out together. I wanted to thank you. What for? Rescuing me. I only did what was necessary. Your future is up to you, Franz. I've painted a new portrait. A self-portrait worthy of Van Gogh. The cost was high, but I would never have survived had I not painted it. I'd like to buy it. It's not for sale. I'm afraid it's not for sale. Oh. It's for myself, I understand. That's all I wanted to say to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Are we not going- to, I want to paint you! Am I gonna paint you? I would like to paint you. You're the realest person in this damn city! Grandfather? What's going on? What are we doing here? So. You found reality after all. I did. I found myself. Hmm. I found myself. Would you let me paint you, Grandad? Do you feel you're ready, grandson? 
as ready as I'll ever be. Would you paint, paint, would you paint me in my prime scaling the Pio Alto? If that's what I'd see. If that's what I see. I'm sure it is. It's who I used to be. The deeds I'm made of. Through yours. If you choose to paint me. I'd be honored. Granddad! Wait up! Who am I gonna paint? Well, let me think. I'm gonna paint the one that gave me so much shit. Who shall I paint? <sighs> this is hard because they're both the best people that I've met in this episode. She's real. She called me on my shit. And she helped me find my true artist. But it wouldn't have been... But Grandfather was the one that helped me get there. He was always there. So I don't know what to choose! But my gut is telling me, Gret. That's who I wanted to paint in the beginning. That's who I will paint in the end. All right. Oh, I'm doing it from memory? So be it. What? I want to see what the painting looks like. Finn. What's, so what is going on? Oh, we, maybe we will get to see it. We're gonna get to see it, thank God. So these are all the paintings that I painted based on the choices that I made during these conversations. Oh, she kept it! Hey, there she is! <laughs> Look at all of her. Hey, it's my grandpa's love note. I got the achievement anthology. In the next episode of The Lion's Song, a mathematician like me? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I guess it's a woman trying to be a mathematician in Vienna. I hate me! Must hide her true self to be heard. The Lion's Song, episode 3. Derivation. Are these the credits again? <laughs> I love that. I love that they put the credits in these scenes here. Okay, now it's that time to check our decisions. I feel we did such a great job in episode one. This one, I had a hard time. It's getting harder. It was really good though. So, decisions. 30%, 38% also painted the lieutenant's portrait. So most people painted the banker? Were you trying to get the money? 56% also painted the actress's portrait. Uh, so a split between the actress and the mathematician. I guess the mathematician, 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 uh, it was 50-50 because he, he seemed so excited when he saw the mathematician that he wanted to paint him, so I guess that kind of set it off. So it was a hard choice for most people. I'm on track with these three. 74% didn't sell sketches either. Hmm. 74% didn't win Gret's affection either. Oh, what? We could- Oh! I didn't even know that was a, a thing. What? Okay, and then lastly, 81% also chose to paint Gret. What? I made such bad decisions. Except, well, these three, they're okay. This is not good. 
And this... I guess everybody paying the grand... Nobody's paying the granddad? <laughs> this was a bad decision. Oh my god, what were my decisions in the first one again? Videos. See, we're so... We're so good in this episode. In this episode, we shit the bed. Damn it. I gotta stick with my decisions. I'm going to stick with my decisions. But anyway, let me know what you all would have chosen to do. If you played this, I would be glad to hear how it turned out for you. Because I think it turned out okay for me. I didn't finish the painting. I didn't win Gret's affection. Apparently that is a thing that was possible to happen at least. Most people painted the banker. Why the hell did you paint the banker? Anyway. I'm glad you got to join me for episode 2. I'll be back again with episode 3. So thank you all. Thank you again for joining me. And I'll be back again with some more indie game goodness.